Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Saumya Harikrishna. The process of formation of spermatozoa or sperm is called a spermatogenesis. Genesis means synthesis or formation. So, it starts with the spermatogonia cells. If you remember, inside the seminiferous tubule, the wall of the seminiferous tubule consists of cells called a spermatogonia. So, these spermatogonia are the sperm mother cells. So, their ploidy is diploid. This will first multiply in large number because the number of sperms produced are huge. So, they multiply by simple mitosis, that is what is given here, mitosis, to increase in their number. So, once they increase their number, some of them will turn into uh, another type of cell called a primary spermatocyte. Whereas, the other cells in that batch will continue dividing. So, all the cells multiplied and produced will take up two uh, root. One will go to the process of formation of sperm. The other one keeps on dividing. Otherwise, the process will stop. The process is continuous in males. Okay. So, the primary spermatocyte will now undergo first meiosis. Meiosis has got two stages. Meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. And we know it is a reduction division where the chromosome number becomes half. So, after meiosis 1, the cells formed are called a sper secondary spermatocyte. So, we know that after meiosis 1, two daughter cells are produced. So, two secondary spermatocytes will be produced. By the time the ploidy will become haploid. Now, the secondary spermatocyte will complete meiosis 2. As a result, four daughter cells are formed. Those cells are called the spermatids. But now remember, it is starting from spermatogonia, which is a modified cell or the sperm mother cell. So, these cells are like normal cells. But we know the sperm has got a typical structure to enable uh, its function. So for that, the spermatids have to transform or change into this shape. That process is called a spermiogenesis. So by a process of spermiogenesis, the spermatids form will attain a shape of a sperm with a sperm head containing the nucleus and some Golgi apparatus will become the uh, secrete the uh, enzymes and form the uh, a cap like structure called an acrosome. So, this process is called a spermiogenesis. Once the spermiogenesis is over, these uh, sperms will go and dip their head inside the sertoli cells. Sertoli cells are also within the wall of the seminiferous tubules. They will embed their head inside the sertoli cells because sertoli cells give them the required nourishment. After taking up the nourishment, the sperms will be released out of the seminiferous tubules uh, to the duct system. So that process is called a spermiation. So please don't confuse with the spermatogenesis, spermiogenesis and a spermiation. So spermatogonia first uh, continuously divide by mitosis to form primary spermatocyte. Primary spermatocyte is deployed which will undergo division meiosis 1 to form secondary spermatocyte which is haploid. Secondary spermatocyte will become spermatids. Spermatids will transform into sperm by spermiogenesis. Then the sperm will embed their head in the sertoli cells and then released out by the process called a spermiation. So while learning you can learn as the flowchart but uh, if it is a 5 mark question you have to write, uh, write in sentence. Spermatogenesis starts at the puberty in males. It is a hormone regulated mechanism. So during puberty stage a hormone called a GnRH gonadotrophin releasing hormone uh, getting secreted from the hypothalamus will stimulate the anterior pituitary to secrete two gonadotrophins. Okay, so gonadotrophin releasing hormones will be secreted more from the hypothalamus. It will go and tell anterior pituitary to, to secrete two gonadotrophins which are the LH and FSH. LH stands for luteinizing hormone and FSH stands for follicle stimulating hormone. Now, what are their functions? LH acts on Leydig cells. You can remember L for L. LH Leydig cells. And the Leydig cells will secrete and uh, uh, stimulate the synthesis of what androgens. Androgens in turn will help in the process of spermatogenesis. Okay, so it's a hormone driven process. At the same time, FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. Actually, follicles are present in female, but here males, they don't have follicles. So, FSH is having a different function in male. It acts on the sertoli cells. You know, sertoli cells should also develop in order to nourish the sperms. At the same time, it will stimulate the secretion of certain other factors also, which are helpful in spermiogenesis. 
male ejaculates almost 200 to 300 million sperms and out of this 60% should be proper uh, uh, shape and size and also 40% should have vigorous motility for the fertilization to occur. Now coming to the structure of sperm, sperm has got different parts. It first part is called a head region. Head consists of a nucleus which has the chromosome content of the male and also acrosome. Acrosome is a proteolytic enzyme filled structure. It has got a different enzymes in it. One, uh, one example is hyaluronidase which will help in uh, uh, penetrating the ovum and also acrosin which will help in uh, closing the zona pellucida layer. And uh, coming to the neck region, neck region has got centrioles which will later help in the cleavage of the zygote. Uh, then mitochondria, mitochondria is present in the neck region. Uh, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, so this is the powerhouse of this uh, sperm because sperms need a lot of energy for its movement. Uh, finally coming to the tail part, it is helping in the vigorous motility of the sperms. So these are the basic uh, parts of the human uh, sperm or the spermatozoa. Hope you understood the lesson as well. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Biology My Passion.